That's right. Six straight up and down. The ball's in the middle of it. The ball's in the middle of the stick. The sticks are parallel up to the line, but not touching everything to the left of the head. Got it? Do that all day, we're fine. Yep. Straight up and down, we're going. Down. Official Hans Wittelsberger gets us started. Jake Moulton, Sam Payton going head to head, and Moulton for Syracuse wins the draw, then loses the ball. It's loose, bounce shot and a save. Rob Schroeder early on, Stephen Keogh seconds in to the first semifinal. Just underway here from Foxborough. Duke in the dark, jerseys here against second seeded Syracuse. Seatbelts mandatory. This game will feature playmaking, great tempo. All players have the green light to attack. Couple keys for Duke, percentages. Their shooting percentage and save percentage. There's a huge disparity this season. We'll show you some of those during the, during the game in terms of when they lose games and when they win games. And then the clearing game, going from defense to offense, is a big issue back in March. Zach Howell trying to get a shot off, can't do it. Good play defensively by Matt Tierney of Syracuse. Turns him and Matt Abbott to Joe Von Miller. Climbs the ladder and brings in the ground ball. Another half field possession here. And the first of the game for Syracuse. Couple keys for the orange. You gotta defend Ned Crotty and Max Quinzani. Matchup concerns for Syracuse defense. And then face-offs. They can get to 50-50. I think John Desk will be happy with that. Here's Matt Abbott. Told you about him earlier. To Wharton, finalist for Hardy. A big senior out of Tully, New York, just south of Syracuse. Hat trick last year. Championship game against Johns Hopkins. Syracuse won that 13-10. It's Daniello. Operates from behind the cage. Little bounce shot, he scores! It's the icebreaker. In this year's national semifinal, 1-0 Orange. Duke electing to cover Daniello, an attackman with a short stick. Steve Schoffel, number 20 in blue. Daniello just beats him top side, no help. You see the confidence Duke has in Schoeffel, but Daniello able to free his hands and he beats Schroeder down low. Duke puts a short on Daniello. That allows them to bump one of their four long sticks up top on midfielders. Okay, double down. Wide move! Stay Blue ball! Jake Moulton violation. Sam Payton takes it over. Here comes Duke running. Montelli a shot, got some pipe. Tom Montelli with a long stick. The youngster from Duke nearly tied it. With a six-foot pole, John Galloway in the nets for Syracuse. Didn't play last weekend because of a flu. Instead, Al Cavallari got his first career start, had 14 saves, was brilliant. Orange beat Maryland 11-6 in the quarters at Hofstra. Duke a tight one at Annapolis, 12-11 over arch rival North Carolina to get this far. Nation's leader, points per game, number 10 in white is Kenny Nims. Watch him closely in a great matchup with Mike Manley, wearing number 37 for Duke today. Second midfield out for John Desco's orange. This is Nims. His cousin, Greg Noroski, looks in front. Danielle intercepted by Schroeder. A senior goalie from Summit, New Jersey, getting his first ever start in championship weekend here today. Schroeder, a career backup. Backed up in 2005 to Aaron Fenton. Last year to Dan Loftus. And you learn nothing from watching. So a slow start in March. Schroeder picked things up recently. His save percentage in recent games is around 60% after starting the year at around 40%. Ned Crowley feeds out for McKee. His twin brother Parker plays on defense. Reunited this year after spending some time apart. Will play at St. Lawrence Division three level last year. Max Quinzani, great player for the group from right here in the Boston area. 
He said it was yesterday, countless family and friends here to watch him play. McKee, here comes a slide to double team. Tries to split it, ball loose. Push against Syracuse, play on. And Duke will re-trigger here. Here's Will McKee. Trying to get the right-handed shot, bouncer. And goes straight up over the crossbar, not close. Backed up by Duke, Blue Devils keeper. Quinzani triggers from behind the cage. He is dangerous. Catalino. Crotty. Shoots and Galloway. Swallows it up. Already the sophomore who was the starter for Syracuse, leading the Orange to the national title a year ago, has two saves. Syracuse defensively choosing to play Sid Smith on Ned Crotty, and John Lade will cover Max Quinzani. I like Lade's quickness against Quinzani. I am not sure Sid Smith, 17 and white, is going to be able to run with Ned Crotty. That'll be a big storyline today. Crotty beat him easily there, top side, bailed out by some fine goaltending by Galloway. Here's Matt Abbott. Does it all. Can clear. Can shoot. Can play defense. Scoop up ground balls and is the fastest player on the Orange roster. Has it here. Goal line extended. Here's Pat Parrott. Senior's brother Bill won two national titles at Syracuse in 2000 and 2002. Would love to match his big bro with a second ring this weekend at Foxborough. Parker McKee and Hardy, two big fellas in a good matchup. Feeding in front, trying to get it to Keo. Good play, Schroeder with a pick. And here's CJ Costabile, freshman long stick. Outlet, Manley, another long stick, cruising in. Thought about a shot, pushed from behind by Smith. Causes the turnover, here's John Lee. That's a killer for Duke. Duke wants to play seamless lacrosse from D to O in transition. This Syracuse team this year has shown an affinity for the half field game, the slowdown game, and so turnovers are magnified, as you'll see the guys in white now possess. Turnovers, three to one, Syracuse right now. Top of your screen all day long, you'll see updated stats as the game happens. Parrott, sharp angle shot, and that will be, if touched by Syracuse, a freeze call, it's out of bounds. And Duke will, in fact, have a chance to clear it. 